My name is Brenda Strong and I'm an actress. For me, achievement wasn't so much something that was externally recognized, but something that was internally recognized. Like I remember growing up and my parents never said to me, you're beautiful. They would say, that was really kind of you, what you did. And so, um, those are the type of achievements that I look for. Maybe not as much external achievements, but internal ones. Things um, that are markers for me personally, where I know I've stretched myself past a place where I even thought I was capable. Because I know when, when you achieve something like an award, it's an intangible unless it's personal. And so um, it might mean something to someone else, but unless you can define what that award means to you, it's not really meaningful. Well, I was the youngest of six kids growing up to um, my parents, who were both um, really unique individuals. My dad, uh, in addition to being a college counselor and a horticulture specialist and farmer, um, he was also a composer. And um, he was a master game player. So in our family, we played a lot of games, which you know innately teach you that winning is better than losing. But um, <clears throat> he played chess and tennis and cards and table tennis. So our, our lives were very active and very rich that way. And he read a book a day, so he was very knowledgeable and very curious individual and very strongly opinionated um, and a really good teacher. And my mom um, was one of the most gentle-spirited, most loving, highly intelligent women I've ever come across in my life and had a capacity for love that was extraordinary. And, um, and she, she was a, a caretaker of her children. She didn't have a career outside the home, but she would volunteer uh, quite a lot. So we got to see her go out into the world and make a difference through her actions in, in different communities. I learned how to give from my mother. I learned patience from her, although I, I tend to be impatient, uh, so I, I work with that one. Um, I learned curiosity from my dad and um, a passion for music and writing and reading and thinking. My dad was a thinker um, and so thinking to me or how one thinks is really exciting and I guess that leads back to acting is what is this character thinking um, and why are they thinking that and how are they holding the world in their particular viewpoint. I, I think I learned courage from both of them. I don't think I would have become an actor had they not shown me in the face of difficulty the metal of their characters. Um, so I think I learned courage from both of them. I remember very definitively uh, standing on the side, because I couldn't sit because I was a very active girl, on the side of the audience when my brother first stepped on stage when I was uh, six and he was 16. And I watched him make an entrance and walk across the stage and my heart started beating faster and I thought, I want to be up there. That's what I want to do. So um, ironically, uh, I became a dancer first and then a singer and that of course inherently led me to musicals. So I did end up on that stage doing musicals in high school and such. Um, but it never occurred to me that I could be a, a professional actress because I, I didn't know. Those were people outside of my sphere of influence. And it wasn't until uh, the Oregon Shakespeare Company came through my high school and I realized that, wait a minute, they're not kids. These are adults who are doing this for a living that I thought it might be possible. And my father, being a college counselor, um, had seen me on stage and he said, I think you have what it takes to do this. And I think you have, more importantly than what it takes, like the talent it takes, but he says, I think you can survive the business because of who you are. Because he wouldn't have let me do it if he didn't think I had enough metal to my character to, to survive the, you know, the journey. I think the whole idea of thriving comes from um, perspective and how you go about something. And I'll um, share something that, that I know about a personal friend of mine who is an amazing working actor who is now just blowing up everywhere. And his father was an actor who wanted to be a star. And he grew up with a man who was very, very um, bitter because that never realized. And so he made his goal just to be an actor, to be a working actor, to, to invest himself in character 
and the task in front of him. And by doing that, he became a star. And so, you know, I never had the mindset of I want to be a star. I always thought I want to do good work and interesting work. And I remember at one point telling my mother, it was early on in my career, I said, I'm not doing anything that I find interesting. Why would anyone else find it interesting? Um, I don't feel like I'm making an impact. I want to, you know, I want to affect the human condition. I want to Im uh, inspire people by the work that I'm doing, and I'm not feeling that way. And she actually said to me something very uh, impactful. And she said, never underestimate the power of who you are while you do the work that you're doing. The work may not be impressive, but the impact of who you are is going to affect many. And I thought, I can continue on my path, even without the results, without the success or the achievement or the thriving, I can continue if that's the goal, is that by who I'm being, I'm still, I can still maintain integrity.